Let's try it. Let's try the video. Do you like to make stuff? I like to make stuff. I make stuff like this video my parents shed because I like to hide away from people. I also like to torture myself by writing the script for this video in the shortest amount of time humanly possible. I apologize for the low quality writing in advance. I had a sudden realization that I hadn't uploaded in time for a weekend schedule in a while, and I thought, hey, you should probably do something about that. So let's just get straight to the point. I told you I like to make things, but why do I? Easy answers come to mind. It's fun. It's a way to pass the time. I want to inspire others to do the same. But at least in my opinion, there is always a bitter underlying reason why creative people do creative things. Not to say that those other reasons aren't valid, I'm just suggesting that maybe you're not as authentic and, I don't know, as for others, for the people, as you think you are. I'd like to entertain the idea that maybe making silly little works of art will lead to a career or respect from my peers, or I don't know, just an ego boost. Lots of people say they make things for the fun of it, and there are definitely a lot of people who make stuff just for the love of the art, but you cannot deny the inherent selfishness of doing something creative. Think about it, we make art in the hopes of being understood, not to understand others. Because you're the artist, therefore you know your work better than anyone else. And so whoever thinks they know better than you can go jump off a cliff. Just kidding, criticism is very important. But is that wrong? Making things to be understood, that doesn't sound that bad, does it? While yes, making art to be understood is a justifiable reason to make it, there's an extreme to wishing to be understood. Snobby, stuck up people who think their work and opinions about others' work is above everyone else's and should therefore be praised because they undeniably have the best taste. Basically, who people think Anthony Bantano is. They're not asking to be understood, they're demanding it, rejecting the idea that maybe they're just wrong. What I just said seems to contradict the title of this video, and it does, but I just wanted to point out the elephant in the room. There is a difference between making personal art in an effort to be understood, and making bad art in the hopes people will be glad enough to say it's good. As good people try our best to not end up like the snobby people, and in that effort, we reject the selfish reasons why we make art. We don't make it to make money or get famous, we do it to show that snobs were better than them. Oh man. We are becoming just like them, aren't we? Trying to get at them is still a selfish thing, because we're seeking validation for the reason we don't like them. It's like you're asking, I can't be the only person who doesn't like these people, right? So we're all just fighting for the title of the most validated person, I guess. Therefore, we are technically all selfish, greedy little artists. Behind the reasons why you pursue art that you tell to your family at Thanksgiving, there is still the hope that you'll get fame and notoriety and money, and just maybe you'll be better than those snobby people. Maybe we're all just not in denial, I don't know. But what's the moral of the story? If we're all selfish pricks, where's the positive in that? Why is it okay to be selfish, you little ghost? I bet none of you have noticed I keep using rhetorical questions to segue until now, so there's that. If everyone could just realize that there's no point in acting like the reason you make your art is better than someone else's reason, it would make things a lot easier and objectively better. Maybe the self-awareness of all of us combined could just cancel everything out. We could all just make art and not care if it'll make money or if it'll go viral or if it's more authentic than someone else's because we could just stop caring as much. This is kind of an unrealistic utopian ideal I'm describing here, but I don't care because the thought of it makes me happy. I'm not 100% sure how to wrap this up with a nice little bow for you, but I do hope that this video did something for you. Maybe this describes some feelings you've been having. Maybe it was just interesting. Maybe you just wanted to watch an amateur video essayist to struggle to form a coherent thought for X amount of minutes. You know, one of my New Year's resolutions was to make longer, beefier video essays. And as you can tell, this is not very long and beefy. Great way to start the new year. <laughs> but yeah, sorry this video took ages to come out. I had a whole different video idea, but I scrapped it last minute so I can make this one. I might bring it back and actually make it in the future, but I don't know. Thank you for watching this little rant. This has been your local ghost, and have a great day slash night. See you later. Also, uh, I'm starting this group of creatives called Party Dog Collective. Uh, we're gonna make videos really soon. Uh, I'm still working on it, but yeah, I've been posting about it on my socials. And I figured I should mention it in a video because I'm really freaking excited for it. It's gonna be so awesome and cool. And it's gonna be a way for me to make the creative YouTube process less lonely. So uh, there's that. Stay tuned for that, y'all. Thank you for watching. This video kind of sucked, but bye-bye.